G'day. Welcome to another one of my um, knife videos. Now, um, normally I would be presenting something about a cookery, which is really my favourite type of bladed instrument. However, uh, due to my circumstances at the moment, I can't make too many, uh, well, I can't make any cookery videos uh, for some time. I won't be making any for a while, so I've decided to go into one of my favorite types of blades, the karambit. Now, um, it won't replace the kukri, but there are um, uses for the karambit, particularly in the world we live in, where the kukri might be a little too much blade. So, in my last video, I showed you a little um, folding karambit, this one, the Mantis Mark II Sync II. And I like this karambit. It's uh, I've been I'm using it for a while. It's become sort of like everyday carry. Recently, though, I've obtained another folding karambit. This one. Now, I'm not sure. It says there, Deris Rina, Deris Pina. I know there's a Deris Pina karambit, but it's not made by. It doesn't look like this. And I believe it's made by Emerson Knives, um, if I'm not mistaken. This one, however, whatever it's called, Deris Rina or Deris Pina, came in this box. So it says there, Deris Rina, Deris Pina Knives, Dow USA, and, that's, and there's an octopus there. It doesn't have any other markings apart from that. But... It's a very interesting um, pocket karambit. It's also folding, and just like the um, mantis, it can be opened with one hand, and um, it's got a belt clip that's positioned closer to the blade than you would find in the mantis. It also has this wood. Um, grip. Now the the metallic part here that holds the blade in, it's got a liner lock by the way, that metallic part is not really that much thinner than the pure metallic, the pure metal handle of the Mantis. But what this particular karambit has are these wood grips that make the handle feel a little bit beefier in the hand. It also has this um, this feature, which the Mantis does not have, this thing that some people call a gut hook. Although, for someone like me, who's been in, in emergency services work at one time, this to me looks like a seat belt cutter, which you can use when you're rescuing someone from a from a wrecked vehicle and you need to cut their seat belt to set them free. Uh, you, arguably you can use the knife itself to cut the seat belt but that um, can lead to um, injuries to the victim so this it's a lot safer to use this and if you've got a victim who's panicking and is not able to stay in control you can actually fold this thing and use it to cut the seat belt that way. Uh, all things considered, can it be used as a gut hook though? Yes, it can. I've, I've known, it could also be used as a skinner. I know of someone who uses the um, seat belt cutter in his rescue tool for uh, skinning small animals. He's quite an interesting fellow. It feels a little lighter in the hand than the mantis, but the mantis is has a thinner feel it feels like you're holding something substantially less and as far as size goes the karambit um karambits like this are meant to be carried in a pocket the mantis i find stores in the pocket more easily than this one primarily because of its wider beefier grip Still, it's not that much of an inconvenience. If there's anything I don't quite like about this 
there is Serena, there is Pina, whatever, is that, well, this um, rather rough stripling here, the uh, mantis has one too, and it's it's meant to um, prevent slippage when you flip the knife over like that. See, there you, you have three ways of carrying a karambit. You can carry it blade forward, for which this one is incredibly well designed because of its tanto point. You can carry it backhand, which is what a lot of karambit um, martial artists use. Or you can flip it forward like that. And there are certain instances in, in close quarter combat when this is particularly useful, especially when you're slashing at um, soft tissue and you need that extra reach. Now, this part here is supposed to grip your, um, this part of your finger so it does not slip. However, for this, oh, there you go. For this particular beast, um, this, these um, um, crenellations are a wee bit, probably a wee bit um, too deep, but not too sharp. So when I use a, when I transition from a backhand grip to a forward flip like that, I can feel these things biting into my finger there. Not that it, not that I mind, really. I mean, if I'm in a self-defense situation, I wouldn't mind it. It's, it's the least, it would be the least of my concerns. <laughs> However, it does make it a wee bit inconvenient, which is why um, the Mantis Sink to Karambit, with its gentler crenellations back here, would be probably my first go-to um, weapon in a self-defense situation. Well, in any event, I carry them both. Oh, one other thing. When I close the blade on this, you can see it's extra wide because of this, um, well, gut hook, also known as seat belt cutter. The um, mantis is a lot narrower, so this will fit in a knife pouch easily that you can keep to your belt and, uh, you know, secure the thing. This one, because it's so broad, doesn't fit unless the knife pouch is specially made for it. So it has to go into your pocket and has to stay there. You can use the belt clip. It does grip the pocket very well, but for my purposes, I would keep it straight down that way, sometimes that way, in my pocket, draw it out, release the blade, turn it over, and it becomes a truly um, formidable self-defense tool in the hands of a person who knows what he's doing or she's doing. So there you go, the Deris Rina Karambit. Um, I've done some research on this and it's apparently made by a company called um, Grandway Knives, which is based in Kharkov, Ukraine. Um, it has a two and three quarter length, uh, inch uh, long blade. The overall length is about seven and a quarter inches from the end of the ring here to the tip of the blade. That's a little longer than um, the Mantis, but it doesn't matter. It's, uh, it's, it's not that big of a difference. And also it, um, it's made of, uh, well, so I'm told, 440 steel, which is rather similar to the Mantis material. 
Um, it holds an edge very well. Edge retention is very good on both these knives. And uh, regardless of which one you would choose to carry for your everyday carry, self-defense, everyday purposes, you won't, um, you won't regret it, whichever knife you choose. So there you go, the Deris Rina or Deris Pina knife, karambit knife, the X52. So, well, there you go. Take care. Bye for now.